Hello, and welcome to the Smart Trading video tutorial that gives you a walkthrough on how to run an XEngine server profile in Docker. First, you should verify that the Docker engine is running. To do this, use the systemctl command. Load the Docker image from the tar archive. To get the image archive, contact edifex support at support at edifex.com. List the Docker images to verify that the image has been added. Here is the newly added image. Go to the mount directory. This directory contains folders that will later be mounted to the corresponding directories of XEngine server in a Docker container, such as the logs and the XEngine server input and output folders. Using these mounted directories, you can submit test data inside the container and get the XEngine server processing results from there. Once you have an XEngine server module image uploaded, you can start the container using the docker run command. Enter a name for the container. With this flag, mount the XEngine server license file into the docker container. Mount the logs directory to view the processing logs. And finally, mount the inbound and outbound XEngine server endpoints to submit data into the container and to get the results from the container. Specify the name of the uploaded XEngine server module image. Provide an image parameter which points to an XEngine server profile to be run in the container. This location indicates that the profile is pulled in from the Smart Trading Cloud repository during the creation of the Docker container. Specify your Smart Trading account to access the repository. Enter the password to the account. The Docker container with the XEngine server module image has started. Now open a new terminal window and list the Docker containers. Here you see the newly created container. Verify whether the XEngine server that you pulled in is up and running in the container. To do this, attach to the shell process inside the container. This returns a container shell session so you can interact with the Docker container contents. In particular, go to the XEngine server bin directory and run the list active profiles script. The script returns the Docker sample profile, which indicates that the profile that you pulled in is up and running. Detach from the container's shell process and submit some test data to the XEngine server module. Go to the mount directory and copy the sample 837 data file to the mounted input directory, which is called in. Then go to the mounted outbound directory and see an xdata file and two acknowledgments that were returned by the XEngine server module. Go to the mounted logs directory and review, for example, the system log generated by the XEngine server module. These are the basic actions you have to know to control an instance of XEngine server module for Docker inside a Docker container. For more information, visit the XEngine server module for Docker Help Center at help.collablink.com. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash